I was wondering if, you know, you had been the one that jumped up out of his seat and slapped Chris Rock. If, if you would have been treated the same way, Mel. Hello, Jesse. Um, thank you. That's our time. <laughs> have you ever thought about that? <laughs> Um, I'm, thank you, Jesse. Um, okay. we, that is our time. Well, Mel, thank you very much for joining Jesse Waters Primetime, and we really appreciate it. April 13th, the movie drops. Father Stu, we really enjoyed it. Thank you. That awkward ass uh, interaction there between Jesse Waters and Mel Gibson uh, happened uh, last Friday when he was there just to promote his new film. And instead, Jesse Waters asked him at the end there, how would you have felt there? What would they have done to you if you were Will Smith? Because he's trying to get him in that same Fox narrative about, hey, the poor white guy is always the one getting persecuted when black folks like Will Smith just get off every time. Now, I think maybe it's because of Mel Gibson's past and his controversies when it comes to homophobic, racist, misogynistic, anti-Semitic messages that he's always put out there. Maybe now he doesn't want to have much to say about it this time. And Jesse Waters thought, hey, he's crazy. Maybe he'll jump on board with this now. Um, the other part about it might be how odd Mel Gibson was acting during that entire interview. Let's watch a little bit more piece of how he was, seemed a little uncomfortable, watch. I watched your film this morning and I cried and I'm not a crier. It was a very powerful movie and tell me if I have it right. That this is all about suffering and people suffer have a choice. They can either be angry or they can be grateful. And if they're grateful, then they can receive God's grace. A, a real healthy faith comes from complete abandonment of self. Um, which is very difficult for most of us. And you know, some of us hang on like, you know, you know, I don't know if I've ever achieved that complete abandonment, maybe a few times in my life. But uh, you know, Mr. Ego is always waiting there. I call him Bjorn, you know, I just gotta <laughs> sh I, you know, he's face down in a pit in the backyard and I always gotta <laughs> shovel a, a, a spoonful of dirt on him now and then just to keep him down there or he'll get up and start wreaking havoc again. But, um, and then I'll be Bjorn again, you know, but uh, you, you, yeah. So although the interview still wasn't going <laughs> that well at that point, they died, he decided to wrap it up with that question about uh, Will Smith and them. Um, so again, as they bailed on that interview, this is what they were looking to avoid as Mel Gibson went on TV. Let's look at these headlines that popped up all over the place right afterwards. Mel Gibson Handler stops interview. Mel Gibson's interview cut off after Jesse Waters slabgate query. Mel Gibson interviewed awkwardly cut off. So now it's about Mel Gibson's interview being cut off awkwardly. Handlers, publicists didn't want to answer, slabgate. All the things he didn't want to have to talk about, we are now talking about Adrian. Good job, Jesse, good job. Good luck having him back on the show. Yeah, no, I think that, you know, Mel Gibson, I, I, I don't know his journey. I know he's been a raging anti-Semite, also very racist. They all kind of go hand in hand, extremely sexist, abusing women and whatnot. I don't know where he is in his journey. I know that from some extent, I know that what he was talking about in terms of lacking and moving away from self, that really has some kind of, I guess, Buddhist underpinnings. I think that's what he was getting at. I'm not quite clear, but I hope he has found some peace. But where the problem seems to definitely be is the Academy, also the double standards and how they're treating Will Smith as opposed to Mel Gibson. But Jesse Waters definitely was not going to reach into that territory thanks to Mel Gibson's publicists. And I'm sure that's also why he started laughing because he knew it was coming. Absolutely, I mean, this is the thing, I feel like that's his brand a bit. He's like, this is uncomfortable and awkward. And I'm glad I have you in his position now. And I guess that's what sells and it's what they're okay with them doing. Because most folks don't want to lose access to maybe interviews or bigger names like that. But maybe he just doesn't care. It's just the way um, these types of things work with, uh, with Jesse. We've seen it before. Um, so he's not coming back on. That's just, that's just the way it's gonna be. I, I mean, that's my assumption, we'll see.